morning, little fish. Always a bit disorienting waking up somewhere in the open. Uh, did you sleep well at least? And the pajamas comfortable enough? Or close, but like not exactly the same size, so. Yeah? You're not just saying that to make me stop worrying, are you? Oh, that's uh, really nice to hear. Um, this bed is one of the reasons I like coming out to the cabin. And combined with everything else, I feel like I sleep so much better here. It's the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in, but my family won't let me take it back to my apartment. Right? But I'd also just forgotten how nice and comforting it can be to sleep next to someone. <laughs> You're very cuddly in your sleep, did you know that? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was trying to offer to sleep on the couch last night because I didn't want to pressure you into sharing a bed with someone you, like, just met, but I'm not sure I needed to be concerned. No, 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 not at all. I didn't mind. I think it's really cute, actually. Um, in my last relationship, I was usually the big spoon. Not that I mind it, but I don't know. Either way, little fish, you don't need to worry. I woke up this morning very cozy indeed. And I have you to thank for at least part of that. Mm -hmm. You're nice and soft. <laughs> this pajamas help too, huh? <laughs> now, I think this is quite lovely, and I'd love to stay like this with you all morning. <laughs> but I'm a little bit hungry. Can you join me for some breakfast? I was thinking about pancakes. <laughs> you seem excited about that. Come on then. Do you have a preference for what kind of pancakes? Uh, I brought blueberries and bananas, but I was thinking maybe we could do a chocolate chip. Yeah? That sounds like a plan to me then. Uh, no, it's all right. Appreciate it, of course, but uh, you don't have to worry about it. You're my guest and it's not like pancakes are that hard to make anyway, so. Besides, the kitchen's kind of small anyway. I told you last night, little fish, I promise you're not imposing, and... I... Fine, fine. If you insist, then I won't turn down your help. I'll take care of the pan and plating the pancakes, but could you handle the batter? It's just one of those really simple, just add water box mixes. Thanks. Hmm, well, kind of depends on how hungry we are, I guess. Um, I'm thinking one of those middle columns on the box, uh, whatever they are. Does that work for you? Uh, have you finished the batter? Ah, I forgot to get them out, didn't I? Uh, they're on the bottom shelf, I think, uh, in that cabinet, just above you on the left. All right, this pan is ready to go. So once you have those mixed in, we'll be ready to actually start cooking them. Thanks. Uh, do you like big or small pancakes? All right, Goldilocks, here we go. Uh, what? Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Silly little fish. Can you see those other chocolate chips? Here. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. It was just too cute of an idea to pass up doing it back to you. Uh, of course it's cute. Maybe a, a little cliche, I guess, but I don't mind. It's sweet. Uh, what you did, I mean, not the chocolate chips. Uh, though they're sweet too, I guess, but I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why is me being flustered cute? 
that's fair, I guess. But still, right, right, pancakes. There you go. Take a seat. I can finish these. Uh, your job was a matter. And all that's left is pan related stuff. So go eat. Silverware is in the drawer on the left. And the syrup should be in the cabinet next to where you found the chocolate chips. Hmm? Uh, yeah, that one. Bottom shelf, I think. Oh, you think so? This is just some store brand box mix from a weird local like, grocery store next to where my parents live. And it's definitely a bit different from others, so I was a bit worried you wouldn't like it. Uh <laughs> But you're the one who prepared the batter, so shouldn't that be my line, little fish? I guess that's a fair point. But my pancakes are almost done, and then I'll be able to say it. <sighs> yeah, of course. Here you go. Mm. Oh, these are really good. It's actually been a while since I've made these, and even longer since I've had chocolate chip ones. Good choice. Maybe, but I did give you options, and you made a great choice. Ugh, can't you just let me flatter my g uh, my good little fish? N nothing, J just a. <clears throat> Just a bit of a uh, pancake stuck in my throat. All good now. Yeah, I'm fine. No, no, I'm fine. That, that's your water. <clears throat> if you're any more insistent, I think you might have something you want to say. Oh? Uh, I mean, you're right to think that I have something I want to say too. Uh... But what if we think we're trying to say the same thing, but we're just not? I guess there's no use in putting it off, huh? I wanted to talk about this. About us. Sorry, just let me ramble for a moment or else I won't get it out, okay? Thanks. Last night, when we first met, I don't think I've ever been so comfortable with someone that quickly. <laughs> Even my best friend and I were super awkward when we first met. And I've definitely never kissed someone on the first night, even when I was younger and still getting dragged out to bars and stuff. But last night just felt right somehow. And then everything that's happened since then. Uh, I, I know this sounds a bit crazy, like, Mia, calm down, you just met this girl, but you're... This is gonna sound cheesy, but you're one of the prettiest girls I've ever met, and you're so sweet and gentle and... <laughs> All the other things I won't say, because if your eyes get any bigger, I feel like they're gonna pop out of your skull. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that well, <laughs> I almost called you my girlfriend earlier, if that tells you anything. But I also know that I can't expect you to feel the same way. Especially considering we just met yesterday. <laughs> and if you don't, that's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. I just, I just didn't want to go back to our normal lives after this weekend and always have to think of you as the little fish that got away because I was too nervous to say anything, you know? What? What's so funny? <laughs> okay, yes, you did kiss me first, and you did insist on sharing the bed, and I guess flirting has gone both ways, but... Huh? What are you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that uh answers my question. And 
even though I'm pretty sure that also answers my other question, uh, I'd still like to hear you say it. I, I'd like that too. So, it's official then? It's just a bit of an unusual and extended first date. <laughs> well, little fish. It is sweet. Though, that might also be the chocolate chips and the syrup. <laughs> How about, after we finish breakfast, I show you some of the cute little spots around here. The weather's supposed to be really mild out today, and I know a great secret spot that's actually pretty close to the campsite. We could get your car while we're over it there and bring it back, and you could like, um, or, <laughs> could help you set up your tent there, I guess. <laughs> no, no, you're certainly welcome to stay, don't worry. I'm not going to kick you out and make you sleep outside in a tent like a normal camper if you don't want to. But then when we come back, I'm sure you can find a fun way to spend the evening with me. My family has a bunch of stuff here, like board games and stuff and movies, things like that. Yeah? Well, then I guess it's a plan. Okay, my little fish? <laughs>